Hey y'all, welcome back to another car chat. We are bringing them back y'all. So if you have any topics you want us to chat about, leave them in the comments below. I had asked you guys over on Instagram about some car chat topics, especially during like this season, like weather season, because it's cloudy, you know, lighting will be fairly okay. So you don't want to take advantage of that. So any who's. Today I wanted to chat about how to stay motivated during tough times. Um, I believe Fernando submitted this topic, so thank you so much. I feel like I've touched on this topic before in the past, but I wanted to talk about it again in this season because, you know, I think the last time I kind of touched on it was maybe like three years ago or so, and it's, you know, it'll be fun to see if my viewpoint has changed at all. I don't think it's changed too much. When I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about, like in the past I really focused more on like when work stuff was challenging. Um, in this season I feel like yes work is challenging but also like going through personal things, um, you know being tough as well at times and um, anyways yeah that's our, our topic for today. How to stay motivated during tough times. You know, one of the things that, you know, is very rooted, you know, is a rooted belief for me is understanding and knowing your why, like the purpose behind whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Work sometimes is a little bit easier. You want that next promotion, you know, you want to be on a certain project, whatever. Especially like when it comes to life in general, I'll use my situation as an example. My life completely changed from you know a year ago so I had to kind of figure out like you know why like why do I do the things that I do like why do I choose the jobs that I choose like why am I doing the things that I'm doing and this is like a very broad question that I would I was asking myself you know over the past six to eight months and um, I think figuring that out deeply for yourself why you're striving and why you do the things that you do like why you're making the decisions that you're making like you have to figure out that why first and so for me first of all is to provide stability for myself and then secondly to provide stability for my future family and I think if you guys have been on my channel long enough um, you, you may already know this about me but even before I met the ex I've always had like a desire to adopt it's been a calling for me I don't know why I feel like um, I have a lot of love to give and I think there's a lot of children out there who could use a loving mother. And so um, I want to be stable within myself and then also like, you know, create a stable home environment so that um, whenever I'm, you know, when I get to that point in my life, I can give stability to someone who needs it as well. So, you know, that's my why. You know, that didn't really change that much from the very beginning, you know, me going to college, that was exactly the same why of me going to college as well. It's very similar. So, um, I think being firmly rooted in your purpose and, you know, if you don't know what that is, I think that it's worthwhile to take some time to do some soul searching and to think about like, what is it that you want out of life? And if you don't have that answer immediately, that's not wrong either you know like if just having a happy life is what you're wanting that's that's a why too you know like you just got to figure out what is that why and maybe over time it'll evolve and change as your life changes but I think firmly just deciding what is it that you want out of life like what is the purpose getting down to that answer or to some answer at least to help guide you um, in you know your everyday life I think that's super important Another thing that I feel helps me stay motivated during tougher times is focusing on those rays of light in your life. Like you may be going through a tough time in your personal life or at work, but I promise you there's probably something that gives you light every day. Even if it's the teeniest, tiniest little sparkle of light, like trying to focus in on that, you know, sometimes that can help with motivation. It can sometimes help with like seeing that, you know, life is not, life or the situation, whatever you're in, isn't as terrible as maybe we are making it seem in our minds. Um, many situations are terrible, don't get me wrong. Every now and then I can 
catastrophize things even more than what it is. Sometimes things are just really shitty. And then sometimes, you know, I, I can get in my head and overthink things. Kind of like focusing out and seeing like, seeing those little rays of light, the little things that you're grateful for. Like, I feel like when you practice being in that kind of like energy of like gratefulness, it can help you, you know, stay or get motivated to continue on your path. Now, don't get me wrong, there are moments for sure, like, and especially, you know, in the past six to eight months where I had really tough days. And in those moments when I didn't know what else to do, you know, I'd go work out or, you know, talk to someone. But in those moments when I, when those two were not options for me for whatever reason, like, giving myself the permission to be sad or to feel my feelings even for a short amount of time like I think sometimes it's okay to allow yourself to feel those feelings and then also to kind of like give yourself that downtime to reset sometimes you need that sometimes all I need is a good cry y'all I know it sounds weird but sometimes I just need a good old cry get my mind back on right and or I just talk to a friend or go work out or like lay on the couch and watch The Office, like resetting and just kind of giving yourself the permission to like be vulnerable in whatever way that is, in a safe way, of course. And I have noticed that when I allow myself to have a little break at times, sometimes that can help me refocus. It helps like, you know, reduce the stress that I'm, I'm feeling and Sometimes just walking away and getting space from whatever situation it is that you're going through, sometimes that can help you like think a little bit more clearly and more rationally and just give you a little bit of a refresher that you probably need. I know a lot of us, especially during like busy season as auditors and accountants, you know, it may not sound feasible, but I promise you, there are some moments where it's just like, I need to log off at a reasonable hour have it, you know, eat a normal dinner, not, you know, like cook myself dinner or whatever, like eat something nice, have a little time to like just veg out, get a good night's sleep, and literally the next day I can hit it harder. So I don't, you know, sometimes throwing brute force at something isn't the answer. Sometimes you have to kind of like reset, think like more efficiently, and sometimes you need that after you've gotten a little period to reset. Those are some ways that I stay motivated. Now, I've talked about this too in another video, but something that I, I really do believe is, you know, there are moments in life where motivation is not gonna get you there. Like, sometimes we're not gonna have that that feeling of like, I wanna do X, Y, or Z. Like, for example, getting, you know, studying for the CPA exam. Sometimes you're not gonna have that, that zest or that, you know, inspiration to get up early in the morning or, you know, study during your lunch break or whatever which is perfectly normal. Like we cannot, like I don't stay motivated all the time. However, I feel like being dedicated and learning how to stay true to your word and something that you promise yourself or others, I think that's a skill that can be learned and can be improved on over time. So I really do feel that motivation can only get you so far, but dedication is gonna get you all the way to the end. In this season of life, like the, what I think about like dedication is like dedicated to the values I hold myself to, the things that I say that are important to me, like, you know, really being authentic and living in those things that I share, being dedicated and rooted in my values. For me right now, like my, my journey, yes, I have my career and everything that I, I am dedicated to and, and working through, but for me, like what's more top of mind is, you know, like wanting to have a healthy relationship with myself and wanting to build, you know, trust back with myself so that I can be discerning and, you know, choose the right partner for myself in the future. When you're dedicated, that, like for me, that is staying true to what you say you're going to do or like staying true to the steps to get yourself to, you know, whatever end goal that you have even on the days that you don't feel like it. Like the motivation sometimes, that that feeling of like, I'm you wanna jump right out of bed and just like get to work or, you know, achieve whatever, you know, 
whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, like that only gets you so far. I feel like practicing dedication and you know, that really has a lot to do with discipline. I feel like discipline is another thing that is really important to me. Like, don't get me wrong, it's there are moments where it's super, it's nice to have fun and let loose and all that other jazz, but I feel like, at least for me, I, I find if I'm disciplined, especially when it's something that is like, you know, important to me, I can achieve my goals. Um, and I feel good about how I achieve my goals if I'm disciplined and dedicated to, you know, the task at hand. If you're feeling down because you don't feel motivated, like, I hope you maybe will reframe your thoughts on that and you know see that it's normal to not feel motivated or feel inspired all the time but having dedication to fall back on to keep you going that I think is you know that's important too so if anything you know how to get motivated you know finding your why and then practicing dedication and having that discipline to stick to your word you know when you've given it and if you say you want to do something like and you really want you originally really wanted to do that like doing that you know staying committed to that and um i think it's you know especially when things are hard or difficult i think it's very easy to get off of your path and you know every now and then if you have to do that and you have to reset or whatever that's fine just remember that getting to certain goals in life you don't get there by quitting you know taking a little break totally fine but you know Whenever you're ready, get back up on your path and go after your goals because ain't nobody gonna do it for you, honey. So, especially like something like that, I feel like when you build that trust within yourself, 10, 12 years ago, I was not as confident in my abilities to reach my goals, but because over time I have, you know, experienced hardships and then meeting my goals and seeing that, you know, I have what it takes to meet my goals. Sometimes I may not get there in the way that I want to or originally thought I was going to, but I'll get there at some point and somehow, you know, like you'll get there. If you don't have as much like historical um, experience of achieving those goals, make them little baby steps. You need to celebrate those little wins. So whatever it is that you're trying to get to, like passing the CPA exam, right? Like putting together a schedule to, to get through a certain amount of material in a month. You know, once you meet that goal, like give yourself a little treat of some kind, you know, like a nice dinner or a day off or a spa day or something like that. Like you have to celebrate those little wins because you don't get to that big milestone like all of a sudden. It takes little steps every single day, dedication, keeping on your path, resetting, taking a break for a second, getting back on your path again. Like it's those little milestones that get you to where you need to be because again, life is a journey and that is such like, I have such a deep belief in that because I've seen that, you know, throughout my life. So anyways, going on a tangent now, but that is how I feel, I stay motivated during tough times. Um, I hope it was a little helpful um, just to see some insight on that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, listen to my music. But thank y'all for hanging out with me and I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, let me know what other car chat topics you would like to see. And I will talk to you later.